Hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and I join you here a bare faced because I'm gonna be doing a full face of products I don't like. Um, but I'm gonna be trying to make them work. And it's not that I haven't tried to make these work before. I've obviously used them enough to know I don't like them. But I, I don't know, I just thought I would give them another shot, maybe try a different technique or something. Maybe all these bad things together might make a nice look, who knows. But that's what we're doing today. Um, I have pretty much everything for a full face. Of course, a few things I'll fill in here and there. Um, but starting with the sponges. I was going to use these because I hate them and I was like, you know what? Let's throw in the tools that I don't like either. But since I'm trying to make this makeup work, I don't wanna use these god awful sponges. So these are from Ulta. They sell these in a little duo. It comes in like a burgundy box. And I thought it was a pretty good deal for two sponges. I think it was $10. Um, and these are god awful. I hate these so much. This one I washed last night when I was washing all my brushes because I was going to use it today. But I, I just don't want to use it. I, I'm trying to make this makeup work and I don't want to start with an awful sponge. Uh, but this was the other one, kind of like the Real Techniques one. It has this nice flat edge, a really nice point. I hate these. I hate them so much. They're so dense. Even when you wet them, they do get big, but they're really hard. They're those sponges where you do this and it kind of just picks it up and stamps it around your face and doesn't really blend. They're just not squishy enough. You can hear them touching your face, like hitting your face. I hate these so, so much. So I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use my regular Real Techniques uh, sponge here that I just dampened. Um, it's kind of stained. I washed it with the soap this morning and it's still just kind of stained, but it's clean, I swear. Um, so let's spray some primer water on. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This one says Earth. This was like a little set that came out for Christmas. Mmm, I just love this water so much. Mmm, these ones have like a little scent. This one does smell really earthy, like leaves, crushed up dead leaves or something. Oh, cedarwood and vetiver. I don't smell either of those, which is good because that seems like too strong of a smell. Anyway, that's something I love. Okay, starting with foundation. There is only one in this box, I think. <clears throat> Oops, <gasps> I forgot the lip balm. Hold on. I remember the lip balm was in there because I just dropped it. Where's my little cloth so I could wash my lips off? Ugh, this lip gloss, I love it so much that I don't want to take it off, but I want to put on this lip balm. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. I hate this. I hate the smell of this. Ugh, it just smells like... Ugh, that's what it smells like. Ugh. Well, let's put it on. I hate the taste of this. It gets inside your mouth. Ugh. It feels fine on the lips. Like, it's it's mediocre at best. Packaging is beautiful. It has a nice magnetic closure. I mean, let's look at that again. Really nice packaging. It feels good in the hand. Luxurious lip balm here, but I hate it. Don't like it at all. I don't think I have any face primers. I just happened to see that lip balm because I was digging in here and dropped it out. Um, ugh, I forgot that was in there. I was like, ugh, I gotta use that. Okay, I'll get to most of these uh, today or a lot of them anyway. Oh, dang, there's a lot of liquid highlighters in here. Oh, I had this primer in here, the Ulta Poreless Face Primer. I will never, I almost threw this in the trash. And then I put it in this box because I wanted to use it again, but I don't want to use it. This is the Poreless Face Primer. I used this in a video the other day trying samples. It's so greasy, oily, and disgusting. I I don't get what this is. It's awful. Mm -mm. Let's just go straight to foundation. So the only one I have in here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy. It's very, very dark, and it oxidizes like crazy. Absolutely crazy. So I am going to mix this with my good old um, number seven here. And I'm going to try to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to put some here on my hand. Let's do, and it comes with this really dumb paddle. I hate the paddle on that thing. It's like plastic. And when you're putting on your face, I don't get it. No one complains about that, but everyone complains about a sponge applicator. Anyway, so I'm going to mix it a little bit with this number seven. Uh, this is wonderful. This is definitely one of the best foundations to come out this year. It's amazing. It's called um, All-in-One Foundation. Protect and Perfect. Amazing stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I don't think I did enough. But okay. Is that too dark still? Well, you know what? It's already happening. Let's just put it on. Oh, it's too dark. 
Dang, it's too dark already and it- Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do this. Hold on. Ugh. All right. Let me blend it out. I was about to wipe it off. Let's blend it around and see if it thins out a little bit. But as you can see, like, even lightening it, I got it all in my hair. <sighs> even putting that lighter foundation in it. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's going to work. Maybe it'll work. But I, I just feel by the end of this video, it's going to change so much darker. I don't know why it does that. And the shade selection is not amazing. Like the shade, the range of shades is not very good. Like the one that was right next to this, the lightest, the lighter one next to this was like three shades too light. Um, so the range is not that good. I got to get this out of my hair. Okay, it's fine. But the foundation itself is actually really nice. I do like how dewy it is. I like the coverage. I like how it wears. The shade is just not good and it, uh, it'll oxidize like crazy. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that in this video. Or I'm hoping it does kind of so you can see it, but who knows. Mixed it with something lighter. Mm, maybe with some bronzer. Maybe it'll work. I almost wiped it off too. I'm glad I didn't. Um, so this is going to bug me. Let me try to get that out. Hold on. Okay. I think that looks okay. Um, I don't have any powders in here, anything that I really truly like hate. Um, so I'm going to, or, or concealer actually. So I'm going to do some concealer on the inner corners and I'm going to put on some face powder, the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use complexion powder. I obviously love this stuff. Um, I'm going to put on concealer and powder and I will join you back here uh, for blush. So I'm going to put on some bronzer as well. Hold on. Okay, <clears throat> I'm currently putting the powder on, the um, Too Faced powder. I love this stuff so much, obviously. I did buy two of these. Ulta happened to have them on the uh, 21 Days of Beauty, and I didn't notice it. I just happened to look at Ulta's website that morning and see that it was the thing on sale, and I was like, how did I almost miss this? Um, it was half off, so of course I bought two because it was like two for the price of one. I feel like that kind of helped the foundation not look so dark. Um, I don't have a bronzer that I dislike at the moment, so right now I'm really into the um, Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. Actually, I'm really into the Breezy Cream Bronzer from Tarte. I just love this. I actually bought a full size. I think it's amazing, um, but I want to use this one today, Park Avenue Princess. So let's just put this on like one wood bronzer, or like I would anyway. This is one that I've had for so long and it's such a, a thing that I get really, really into like right now for like a month and then I'll put it away and then a few months later I'll pull it back out and be like, what the heck? Why did I ever stop using this? It's just so pretty and I feel like it looks very natural and um, I don't know, I just really like it. All right. And this brush, the masked powder brush, or is this the blusher brush? Powder brush. Makes it go on really easy. I think I messed it up right there though. Okay, so for blush, I have a blush that I absolutely hate that I actually don't even want to put on because I know it's going to mess everything up. I didn't put concealer on and I feel like I should have on my forehead now and I didn't. It's okay. It's fine. Messed up my hair though. Um, so for blush, I have one from Wet n Wild that I really, really, really don't like. It's so sparkly. Ugh, is that better? It's fine. Okay. Let me fix it. It's fine. Just roll with it. It's okay. Okay. Leave it. Okay. For blush, I have this one from Wet n Wild. I just pulled it out. Where is it? I just had it. I just had it in my hand. Oh, there it is. It's this one. Uh, called It's Color Icon Blush in the shade Nudist Society. For one, I don't like this packaging. Don't like it at all. Um, but the shade, it looks pretty, like the sparkle in it. 
the sparkle is so awful. It's so everywhere. It's all I see. It flies all over the place. And I feel like I've actually made this foundation work. I've never mixed it before, but I feel like the, the foundation with the, you know what? Mixed with that number seven and the powder, the bronzer, I think it's working and I really like it. What the heck? Interesting. I'm glad I did this. But this, I cannot make work. I can't make it work, but I will use it. But I almost don't want to because I'm going to mess up this makeup I put on. Um, but I always do highlighter before blush, so we are going to do that first. I have three. Nope, two. I have, no, I do have three. I have three here that I don't like for pretty much the same reason. Okay. The CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Stick. So this is something that, ugh, that's how I describe it. It looks pretty. It feels actually cooling on my hand right now. I wish it would be pretty on the face, but it just is not. It does not blend. It dries way too fast. Same thing with the balm. This is from the balm. It's called Mary Dumanizer. This is a little one I got in an Ipsy bag. This is another one that I thought I would really like too, but it dries really, really fast. I think this would be really nice as a cream eyeshadow. Uh, but not as a cream highlight. It just, it's too much. And then same thing, NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I bought this. I actually bought this on accident. I thought it was a, uh, uh, the primer, the Angel Veil vale primer, but it's actually a highlighter. They all seem really pretty in their own way, but they all have the same problem as they dry too fast and they don't blend. Um, so which awful highlighter do I want to try though? And how? Do I want to try it with the sponge? I've tried it all the ways, which is why I know I don't like them. And I don't know how it's going to look on top of this, like, powdered face. Hmm. What shall I do? Well, while I decide that, I'm going to put on this lip oil that I also don't like from CoverGirl. Ugh, the taste of this is awful. Like, just the smell going inside my mouth as I put it on. I hate it. It's like... Robitussin. Ew. I don't like it. I don't like the applicator either. It's like that kind of fuzzy doe foot, but it's like hard so you could feel each bristle touching your lips. It's just early 2000s in a tube right here and it's just not... I don't like it. I love the early 2000s, but I do not like that lip oil. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, let's go with the... Ugh, I'm gonna try the CoverGirl one. I'm gonna try it with a brush. Let's try it with um, this Eco Tools Precision Highlight Brush. I'm just gonna do this. But stuff like this, like even if this looks nice and I like it, I don't like having to make stuff work, you know? But <gasps> I'm gonna eat my words. I'm gonna eat my words right now because this looks nice. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Ugh. What is happening? Let me look up close. Let me see if it actually looks as nice as I think it does. It looks nice. Can you see it? I like it. This looks okay. Had I never tried it like this? I could swear I've tried this with a brush. Maybe I was trying to buff it around with the brush and not tap it like that. <gasps> you know what? This looks, this looks pretty. Hmm. Okay. It worked. Um, I'm not going to try the other two though. I'm just going to leave it at that. Lately I have, I've been loving highlighter like in this whole area right here and on the, the nose, but I'm not going to go out of my way to put this cream highlighter. Okay. Let's just see what's left on the brush. <laughs> I'll just do it like this anyway. This looks really nice. I like it. And it doesn't look too crazy on top of the powdered face either. All right. Cool. Ugh, for blushes. I have so many cream blushes and liquid blushes. I don't like any of these at all. I've talked about them in videos over and over at the beginning of February I did. Um, and I don't like any of these at all. I'm not going to try any of them out. I already know I don't like any of them at all. I'm not even going to go. I'm not even going to bother. But they're in here. But the one I am going to use ugh, is wet and wild. Let's try, let's try, um, mm, I just don't like the sparkle that's in here. And I don't mind sparkle, but this one is not done well. 
Let's try a really light amount. So are we getting anything? There we go. Is that too much? Let's, oh my gosh, I never even pulled the paper off this bronzer. I've had this for years, at least two years. Mm, you know what? That looks okay. It There's tons and tons of gold sparkle on my face. I'm sure you probably can't see it, but I can see it without even looking up close. Like, I'm not a big fan of the sparkle. I like the shade of this blush a lot though, but not a big fan of that sparkle. But I don't know. I don't like it very much. Oh my God, for eyebrows. If you watched my full face of samples, you know the two awful things I have in here. I almost threw this in the trash the other day. Almost threw it in the trash. Ugh, I hated this. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. I had this in a full size before. Hated it then. I got the sample in a Sephora bag. Hate it now. It's on the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. Hate this pencil. I don't like the tone of it. I don't like the shape of this. It's really difficult to put on. Same thing with this. This is not good. If you have any little like peach fuzzy uh, brow hairs and you're not like razoring your brow hairs every day or like this part, any little fuzzy thing you have here or any brow hair you haven't plucked out, this is going to coat it with a very dark gel and make it very obvious you have hair everywhere. And I just don't like it. I'm, I'm trying to make this stuff work today, so I'm not going to use these, but I got to let you know again, I hate both of them. So let's do some eyebrow products I normally love. Right now, the ColourPop Brow Boss Brow Pencil in Soft Black. Really, really like this a lot. It goes on super easy. It's dry, um, but not too dry. It's it's like the perfect, perfect um, formula. It's very similar to the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Brow Definer. Right now, this is what I got open. Ooh. I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna put on some brow gel and some powder, or some powder and some gel, and I'll join you back here for eyes. All right, so eyebrows, after I put the gel on, uh, like this one obviously needs more filling in, I go back and fix it after it dries, so I will do that in a little bit. But right now, for eyes. Oh, I forgot something! I had this! I just said I didn't have a bronzer I didn't like, and I forgot this was sitting on my lap the whole time. I'm still gonna, I'll still talk about it though. Darn it, I wish I had used it now. This is the Ulta Beauty Contour Kit. So this is what it looks like. Um, I usually love the Ulta Beauty brand. I love a lot of their products. Their eyeshadow palettes are amazing. Blushes, they're from heaven. I love a lot of their products. They were my number one beauty brand last year. But every once in a while, even brands I love make something like this that sucks or like those sponges that are awful or like the mascara I'm gonna use. Um, so this is a contour kit. Obviously it has some bronzers uh, and some highlights in here. The highlights are non-existent. Like they don't do anything. They're just like, these are the two swatches right here. These two like blah powders, even though it's called Radiance and Luster, like I, I mean, I guess the names are okay, but they don't do anything for me. The bronzers are so light, so light. They take forever to blend, forever, forever, forever to show up on your skin. Um, I've used this many times as eyeshadow and even then it takes forever to get anything to show up on your eyelids. This is just kind of blah to me. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't blend. It blends, it just takes forever to get it to show up on your face. That's what I'm trying to say. It'll blend. Just, you'll be going forever, dipping in and putting it on and dipping and putting it on. Even like the darker shade here that would normally be way too dark for me, barely any pigmentation. Uh, this is just not very good. I wouldn't recommend getting this. I mean, you don't really need a contour kit anyway. Just get yourself some contour shades if you're into that. I personally am not. I usually just like bronzer. Um, but I think something like this, I mean, no one really even needs this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, unless you're a makeup artist maybe, but this is definitely not the one to go for. So not very good and darn it, I wish I'd used it now. Oh well, it's still not very good. I'll talk about it. Okay, for eyeshadows, there are lots of options in here. Let me pull out a few. Oh, I have a brow gel. Something else buried in here, the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. Okay. This is kind of the same thing as the Anastasia one. It gets 
all over the place. Oh, I don't want to put it on now because I'm going to mess it up. And I'm trying to make this stuff work. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, either way, I just don't like this. It does the same thing as the Anastasia. It catches every little fuzzy baby hair you have and like coats it with dark gel and makes it look crazy. Gets all over the skin and does not come off easily. Um, not my favorite. Maybe if you have way fuller brows than me, uh, pretty much everybody does, but this does not work for me. And it was here on the bottom. Okay, eye stuff. Let me pull out these mascaras so I don't forget them. Um, of course I have in here the e.l.f. these palettes. I do not like these at all. At all. They don't go on the lid well. They don't blend well. They stick. They are, they're just not good at all. These are the bite size palettes. I totally regret buying these. Luckily, they were only $3, but that seems like that's why everyone likes them. They're good for the price. If you haven't watched a video on these from anybody else, and they don't say these are so good for the price, I would be shocked because everyone says these are good for the price. They're not good at all, not even for the price. Don't recommend. Um, I have this little thing from Tarte in here. This is a chrome paint shadow pot. And I thought these were something totally different. Just from what I had heard about these, I thought they would be like a pressed eyeshadow, which they kind of are. They're like in this little stopper thing. This is a mini, obviously. but. It's more like loose pigment and not very easy to use at all. Uh, I don't know, not my favorite. But what I am gonna use is this. Got that tart stuff all over it. We'll just clean it up like this. The uh, Milani Gilded Twilight Eyeshadow Palette. Oh boy, this is such a dud. I don't like this at all. This is um, not, not good. I have the Gilded Gold. Is that the one? Kat gave that to me. Uh, I love that one. That one's actually really, really nice. I think it's called Gilded Gold. Um, but this one, mm -mm, such a dud, but we're going to use it today. I just find the mattes take a really long time to build up and all the shimmers in here are so crumbly and flaky, so full of fallout. Um, let's go with the shade. I'm going to try it anyway. Good vibes. Uh, let's go with Late Night Bite and then we'll do good vibes. I'm just going to do something easy. I do have, I did put some primer on the, um, what is it? Ulta Beauty Matte Primer. I got a little sample in a sample bag and it's really nice. All right, just blend, 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 back and forth. Really easy like that. Then we're gonna go with the shade uh, Good Vibes, this purple one, purpley shade right here. The mattes in here are totally fine. There's nothing wrong with them. As you can see, they blend super, super easy. It's just all the shimmers are so flaky and chunky. I can't get them to stay on my eyelid. And I was just saying earlier, I don't like having to make something work. I don't want, I like when I have to wet my brush for just to make it look nice. I don't like having to put a glitter glue or, a, or anything like that on my eyelid just to make something work. It just needs to work. Um, I'm going to go with a shade. Let's see what finesse looks like. Well, it looks like nothing. Just what I thought. <laughs> this one. That's it right here. Maybe I'll just put that on the lid. A little bit of nothing. Or get the digits. Ugh, another nothing shade. This one too, it's just like a see-through clear, like glittery, I don't know. This, this palette's just not for me. Um, let's do, what does Moonlight look like again? Let's try that one. Let's try Moonlight. It's this right here. Ugh, fallout everywhere. Oh my god. The makeup had looked so nice too. Mmm, where's my brush? Dang it, like immediately as I put it on, it's flaked everywhere. I don't know if you can see, but it's made quite a mess. But I have to do it on the other side now. Dang it. Well, well, I'm going to clean up that fallout. I'll be right back. 
All right, dusted most of it away. I, put, I had to put some concealer on though, which I don't like having to pile concealer on under the eyes, but to cover up all the sparkle, I kind of needed to. Just gonna put some of the shade Good Vibes on the lower lash line. Just very imperfect. I kind of just want it to look shadowy not like there's a bunch of eyeshadow. Kind of like I forgot to put concealer on or something. I don't know. Kind of like it. All right. Um, I mean, the eyes look fine. The mattes in here are just okay. They're fine, I guess. But the sparkly, shimmery shades are just, ugh. Don't like them. Such a mess. Um, just not, not a palette I really enjoy very much. Um, but that is that. For eyeshadow, I mean for eyeshadow, for mascara, I have three mascaras here. Let me try to fix these eyebrows really quick. I have an Ulta mascara. I have one from Milk and I have one from Fenty. So the Ulta one I have is called Maximum Lashes. I got this in that sample bag as well. Um, okay, look at this brush. Look at this monstrosity. What are they doing? What are they trying to do with this brush? Okay, for one, the bristles are way too long randomly. Like there's rows of these bristles that are so long, you don't know how to gauge how far to go to your eyelash. And each time I have used this, it touches my freaking, like in the waterline on the inside, the tight line, and almost my eyeball. Like I could feel it scraping that. And I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't seem like you're getting that close. And then it, Oh my gosh, it's it's a mess. I don't want to use it because I know I'm going to poke my eye because each time it gets way too close. Bristles are way, way, way too long. I have the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is something I've had in the full size over the years. Um, over the years. Has it been years? I don't know. But I have had this in a full size before. I've also had this mini before. And this mascara works really, really well on your lashes. It'll make them look nice and full, fat, long, everything you want a mascara to do. But if flakes like crazy every tube I've had it. I always thought it was just one maybe it was dry or something it flakes like crazy I'll have little dots all over my face throughout the day and I'm like what is that and it's my mascara flaking everywhere it also transfers those little dots all over the top lashes and then I have this one from Fenty this little mini here I don't remember why I don't like this but I don't remember why it's in here but I must have not liked it at one time or another but I since I don't remember it uh let's go ahead and use it let's see if maybe uh I'm sure it had to be either it smudged, it transferred, or it flaked. Because those are the only things I don't like in a mascara. I mean, who wants that anyway in a mascara? This brush is really weird. Because it's flat, and then, like, can you see how it goes? Like, there's only bristles on one side of the brush. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that other side. Like paint it? I don't know. Let's just try it out. Hmm. Well, it looks really nice. I, this has to be either it transfers or it uh, flakes or something because this looks really good. All right, gonna finish it up. Be right back. Okay. I don't think I like this mascara. I think it's just the brush. The formula, obviously, it's kind of nice, but the brush is just so weird because it's only, like, you can see the shape, right? So you have to keep making sure you're holding it the right way, and then because there's only a few bristles there, it runs out of mascara right away. I didn't experience that on the first lash, but I did on the second one. I had to keep going back and forth, but, I mean, it looks nice. It's just the brush I don't care for, but I it can't just be the brush that I didn't like. Who knows? But anyway... That's it. What do we think of this? I'm actually shocked, shocked at how much I liked a lot of these products. This combo together, Wet n Wild and number seven. The number seven one is just outstanding on its own, which is weird because a lot of people that I've seen talk about this keep saying the coverage is light or it's like a BB cream. I think it's a full medium coverage foundation and it's awesome. Mixed with this though, I think, I think it looks great. I think it looks really, really good. The highlighter, I'm shocked, went on well. This CoverGirl one, I got to try it more with that brush. Um, the blush, I don't even hate, and I hate this blush. I don't know. Everything just worked today. I, I said at the beginning of this video, too, maybe all the bad things together would make a nice look, and you know what? I kind of think it worked. 
All right, awesome. If you've tried any of these and had good or bad experiences, let me know what your thoughts have been down below. How do you think everything came out? I think it looks really nice. I'm actually shocked. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for joining me for this really long video, and I will see you later in another one. Bye.